A scam that's moving from town to town and costing homeowners hundreds of thousands of dollars. WBZ's Julie McDonald shows us what you need to look out for. Be it for solar panels, cable, or pest control, if you have a door and a bell, you've probably heard it ring by someone trying to sell something. I can take care of that for you. Your yard will be beautiful. You live in the corner and it will be um, increase the value of the house. But Norwood police are warning of a specific type of solicitor, scammers offering home improvement jobs for cheap. Thanks to an alert neighbor, police arrested two suspects Tuesday near Harrow and Albemarle Roads. Two cruisers pulled up and stopped the, uh, the truck, the gray pickup truck here at the uh, stop sign. Investigators say the driver was a juvenile with an Irish accent who had no license and gave a fake name. Inside the unmarked truck were proposal receipts for customers in other towns. And oftentimes these, these people take a down payment, they'll show up, there'd be a flurry of activity and then they're gone. And then when you call them, they'll say, well, we'll come back, but we need more. Um, you know, we need, need more materials. Norwood police tell me they've seen a significant increase in this type of scam the last two years, and it's happening all over. Saugus police put out their own warning this week after a neighbor paid more than $100,000 for unnecessary work. You know, if you've ever tried to hire a contractor, you, know, you have to get on a list and you have to wait a while for them to come out. Most contractors aren't riding around saying, hey, it looks like your steps need work. Police warn to beware of workers who say they're in the area, have leftover materials, or pressure for payment up front. Homeowners who suspect they've been scammed should call police and their bank right away. Just recently, another Norwood detective saved the victim of a roofing and chimney scam by acting fast, successfully blocking a 43 thousand dollar payment in Norwood Julie McDonald WBZ News